Did California just tell us that Tory Lanez is innocent in his case against Megan the Stallion? Uh-uh. No. He recently submitted a habeas corpus petition, which I can barely say and I'm definitely not qualified to talk about, but what it means in a different language or something is bring me the body, which is a last ditch Hail Mary attempt at re-examining the case. I know the headlines are saying that his innocent claim has been accepted, but that's a little bit misleading. They're not saying he's innocent. They've just accepted the claim and it'll go to an appellate court, which I don't know what that is either. The appellate court will hear the appeal, but they still gotta make a decision. His appeal is kind of valid in my opinion because it says that they should have brought up his driver, who was the only sober witness that night, and that his DNA was not found on the gun that shot Megan the foot, allegedly. I say allegedly because was she really shot? Was she? I'll leave that right there. But uh, anyway, Tori is claiming full innocence. I did some research. I looked up I looked up some stats, actually. I looked up some stats. It wasn't easy to find an exact number, but roughly 3.2% of petitions were granted and only 1.8% resulted in any type of release of the petitioner. Successful habeas corpus claims in most cases do not produce a prisoner's release, but rather a requirement for further judicial review. I got that right off Google. So is Tory getting out? No, not at the moment, but it could be positive news. It is positive news. Maybe, best case scenario, he gets a lighter sentence. If you like lighter sentences, maybe you'll like our live streams every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch. Also, like and subscribe here too, you know what I'm saying? If we hit a thousand subs, we're giving every single subscriber a cyber truck. <laughs>